Hi there, I'm Ike Sanu. I'm gonna be walking us through Kaleo workflow definitions. So we've already talked about what workflows are and how to set them up. And we do have that option to code them out in XML. But as your organization grows, you'll have multiple departments creating multiple assets that need to go out in front of people. And having a simple review process can become really tiresome to whoever's involved. With Kaleo, we can make our workflows visually by just dragging and dropping elements. It's a lot easier to understand and it is very convenient as well. And Kaleo is also ready to go out of the box. Whenever we're creating tasks, we're going to be determining those task assignments at the same time. So tasks are the meat and potatoes of workflows. And whenever we drag a task node out into the designer, we have to configure the assignment type. So who's actually going to carry out this task? This is going to be the asset creator, so the person who's actually made or uploaded the asset. It could be resource actions. This is assignments by permission. So for instance, if it's a blogs entry, you say anyone who has the ability to edit blogs can go ahead and take this on by a specific role that we've defined. Or with role type, we can have a collection of roles carry out our task. A scripted assignment, something a little bit more custom in terms of who we delegate to, or even an individual user that we define. So like I said, the task node is the most important because that's really the whole point of a workflow. It's a series of tasks but we also have other nodes as well that will let us build out a more complex workflow. Livingston itself is going to have marketers, graphic designers, and content creators all working on assets. And those departments are very specialized to different things. So we're probably going to have to spend some time making sure that other people get the right asset, review it, and then make sure that it comes down to a final decision. To make sure that everything is good for those three departments, we're gonna need a more complex workflow. Here's some of the other options we have for nodes. We have forks, which will create parallel tasks. So if we need to have two different people review an asset, maybe we want to have marketing look at one and graphic design look at another, we can use a fork to make sure that those are happening in tandem. To undo a fork, we can go ahead and use a join. We have condition nodes. So those will require some scripted condition in order to pass through. This is good if we want to be a little more custom with our workflow. We also have task timers, which perform an action automatically after a specific period of time. Maybe someone gets a notification if they haven't gone through the review process, or maybe something is passed on to someone else after a certain amount of time. Very good, we're here at our knowledge check. If you'd like to go over them on your own, feel free to pause. If not, we can go over them together. So life-free workflow tools allow for advanced workflow creation. Workflows can be defined to include tasks, timers, conditions, and even script actions. With the Kaleo Designer, administrators can design custom workflow definitions. That does it for this section. I'll see you in another video.